UPS. UPS it's usually good uh, device, but sometimes it also causes problem. Uh, first of all, this is additional device in the system that uh, also can fail. Uh, another problem: some uh, cheap UPS devices produce this form of uh, alternate uh, current instead of regular sinus. Okay. Such form of uh, AC is not so good for many for many computer equipment. First of all, it causes uh, some uh, distortions. Also, power supplies of computers and uh, tele telecom equipment is usually is designed to work with uh, sinuses, not with this. Uh, I don't want to say that this is uh, a very uh, big problem to work with such signals, but uh, it's not good. So, what are our recommendations about UPS using? If you have, for example, a couple of twin star servers, we would suggest to connect one server to UPS and the second server to the clean power power network. Okay, so in this case, if UPS uh, will malfunction, the second server at least will continue to work. So sometimes UPS uh, cause problems. For example, uh, very unusual case that we had at one of our customer in Israel. So, customer complained about some problems uh, with SIP, with SIP communication. He has XR1000 uh, PBX, uh, very un unclear problem. Uh, eventually, our engineer suggested to connect uh, the PBX directly to the power. Instead of, before that, it was connected to the UPS. After that, everything started to work okay. So, very strange case, but it happens. Sometimes it happens. <coughs> Sometimes uh, we found uh, servers just uh, like uh, powered off. Okay, and uh, in one or two cases, uh, it was discovered that the uh, server was actually powered off because of UPS failure. So. Uh, keep in the mind that if you connected any equipment via UPS, it doesn't guarantee anything. Okay, uh, and uh, you should be prepared to any uh, <coughs> to any other problems related to it. <coughs> 